Hi guys, so I'm here with my Halloween crafts and sweet and treats video. As you can see, we're jumping right into it. These are some Halloween characters that we made from Target is where I purchased the little kids. Um, they are witches, pumpkins, Frankenstein, little monsters. We also painted these wooden characters as well. And then we made little pumpkins. One is a witch and one is a cat. And all of those three sets came from Target. I'm just sharing some of the crafts and sweets that we have done for this Halloween season. And my kids really did enjoy doing these crafts. So hopefully I'm not too late with this video. And this video gives you all some cool ideas of things to do with your little ones for this season. And then these are some Halloween cookies that we just baked. They're really festive and bright with the ghosts and pumpkins on them by Pillsbury. I also made some pumpkin slash waffles with my little pumpkin waffle maker. I put sprinkles inside of the pancake mix as well as on top. So the first set of pancakes that you all saw were for my two year old and these are for my seven year old. So just very festive, a bunch of sprinkles, whipped cream, and icing. And then these are some cookies that we made as well, just with the green icing and different types of sprinkles. And then my seven-year-old picked these sprinkles and put the icing on these cookies himself. And then I also wanted to share some of my Halloween coffees that I've been making. Just my regular mocha coffee with caramel, whipped cream on top, and different types of sprinkles for the Halloween season. This is a pumpkin face banner that we made. This came from Target as well. If you checked out my Halloween crafts video, I will link it down below. This was from Target as well. Then we also made our Halloween haunted gingerbread houses. So this is the way our house looked. And then they both ended up falling down. So we did have two houses, but they both ended up falling down. But it was very fun and festive and messy and the kids enjoyed it. We also painted pumpkins. These are some of the pumpkins that I picked up to use. Me and my husband painted one of the white pumpkins a piece. And then each child had a white pumpkin and an orange pumpkin to paint. And then as well as our big pumpkin in the center, we ended up carving that. And this is the way it looked. I did our setup for painting. Those stickers are from Target. Then we also had some googly eyes and our paint, paint brushes. That little trick-or-treat sign was for my oldest son. So this was just our little setup one Sunday morning. I set this up for my kids and my husband and I, we all sat at the table and painted. It was a lot of fun and the kids enjoyed it. And then this is the way they turned out. That is my pumpkin there. And you can see we have all different types of festive stickers. There's monsters, skeletons, spiders, witches, glitter, all different types of stickers. Pumpkins, bones, words, cats. The kids enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. My husband also liked it. It was a really fun family activity to do. So it's not too late to run out to your local grocery store, pick up some pumpkins, get some paint. I just used whatever paint I already had, Crayola washable paint and some stickers. You don't even need stickers if you don't want to use them. And you all can paint pumpkins for Halloween or even this evening if you choose, <laughs> the day before Halloween when I'm doing this video or as your actual Halloween activity. And so this is just me giving you all some last minute ideas of things that you can do with your children or just by yourself if you choose to for Halloween. Just fun, creative crafts to enjoy for the season. We put eyeballs on this one, little monsters. My two year old made this pumpkin. is how my seven-year-old's trick-or-treat sign came out. This is my seven-year-old's pumpkin as well. So 
so that's how the painted pumpkins came out and then i got this little set or book from target when i ordered something and it came with glow in the dark slime so that's what they will be doing today so this is the way his slime turned out this is us mixing the pretty purple and green glittered glow in the dark slime with the confetti activator that i already had and this is just a little clip of him mixing it together so we decided to add some metallic blue to it and this was metallic blue that we already had and this is the way that it turned out so we ended up mixing the glow in the dark glue with the metallic blue and the confetti activator the slime came out really cool and bright and sparkly so i probably would have never made the slime if it did not come in the little set from target which also came with a booklet that gives you different ideas of things to do for the halloween season you can make glow in the dark slime which is very easy to do um, you can make monster rocks that is something that we will probably do next year also building your haunted house and cookies and making little monsters and just creative ideas for halloween this is our pumpkin that we ended up carving we did two halloween activities for the weekend we did an activity on saturday and sunday i, I could not find my carving kit from previous years so i had to pick this one up from Publix. and this book was pretty cool i love the ghosts and the pumpkins on the tools and these are some of the different designs that they had in the book for carving but i ended up freehanding our pumpkin this year and this is the way it turned out our pumpkin just said boo and this is the way it looked on our fireplace so I'm very happy with the way it turned out and the kids had a good time getting very messy and carving the pumpkin and just making memories because that's what it's all about. Having fun and making these festive memories with your little one. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope that I was able to give you some ideas and some last minute ideas with how late this video is. But leave a comment down below, hit the like button and please do subscribe and stay tuned for my Halloween party that I will be sharing with you all tomorrow. Bye guys.